Hello, I'm Chad Durdowski. Perhaps you remember me from such films as Pathology, Diagnosing the Future, and The Roswell Autopsy. Today, we're here to discuss the power of visual aids in the laboratory, and how they can work for you. Anyone who's ever used an owner's manual to operate any form of machinery can tell you the combination of words and pictures is a most effective tool. Here at the University of Michigan, we're applying these very same techniques to lab functions in order to create the ultimate in histotechnological advancements. Join me. I'll show you. Hello. I'm glad you joined me. We're here in the heart of pathology where nimble fingers spin straw into gold like modern-day Rumpelstiltskins. Come, let's take a look at the histotechnologists at work. Kiss you on wax. Wax on microtome. Tiny slivers, nimble fingers, creating slides for diagnosis. This is the job of the histotech. The next stop is the oven, where the slides will bake like grandma's cookies. Good work, Aaron. Join me. This is where Erin would have written her time on the board. But a never-ending series of distractions often leads to mistakes. The time written on the board is a visual cue for the back counter worker to know when to put the slides on the stainer. If the slides aren't placed on the stainer in the proper amount of time, the cases will not be made available for the residents to read, which leads to a late diagnosis, which leads to unhappy doctors. I'm sorry, but nobody wrote their time on the board today, so the slides will be late. Again. Late slides again? Ah! Unhappy back counter workers. And most of all, unhappy patients none of which we care to have here at the University of Michigan. Unfortunately, with an approximately 6% increase in volume annually, the odds of making a mistake grow astronomical. How to solve this problem? Do we blame the tech? No. We blame the process. And here at the University of Michigan, we're ever striving to create new processes. And that's where visual aids come in. Join me. My initial attempts at visual aids included a picture of Professor Charles Xavier from the popular X-Men comic book and film franchise. With the accompanying text, even though Chad may be bald like Professor X, he cannot read minds. As expected, this picture was met with derision and scorn from the Histotex, who later defaced the picture with a comical beard and glasses combination. 
Next up, I attempted to play upon the heartstrings of the text, utilizing a picture of a young Michael J. Fox in his Back to the Future Prime. Staring at his own digital watch and playing upon the word time, this was a happy reminder to put a smile on people's faces. I later took a highbrow approach, utilizing Salvador Dali's persistence of time, known to the layman as that melting clock's picture. It was another hit, along with the cover of Morris Day and the Times' first album, What Time Is It?, and several pictures of digital clocks, which I found on Google. Thank God for this visual reminder. I almost forgot. Success. As this series of graphs and charts clearly illustrates, the percentage of correctly logged cases increased exponentially after the induction of visual aids. Proof's in the pudding, Jeff Myers. I got your pudding right here. Double, 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 double